These are the Amazon choice for your gaming setup. Starting with the most hands-on bit, the mouse, the keyboard, and even the mouse mat. We'll open them in just a second, but it's worth pondering the Amazon Choice label, because frankly it's the weird cousin of the Amazon labels. I mean, bestseller is fairly self-explanatory. Amazon Basics may need introduction, but once you know it's Amazon's own brand range, there's not very much more to it. But Amazon Choice sounds like someone at Amazon is sitting there making a recommendation in each category. But in reality, it seems to be some sort of algorithm. So does it do a good job? Only one way to find out. First up, the mouse. It was Amazon's choice for the search term gaming mouse. Interestingly, this is from a well-known gaming brand, unlike the other Amazon Choice items we'll be exploring. The model is the Razer Death Adder Essential. Aggressive name. Sounds a little bit like they're compensating for something. But it's modestly packaged. Once you get past the blinding razor green. And when they say essential, it really has few of the bells and whistles often found on gaming mice. Maybe the model should have been the Razer Plain Jane. But to be fair, it is also just about the cheapest gaming mouse you can get from a reputable gaming manufacturer. The first thing I notice is it's larger than I had expected. And not just because it's closer. This may be essential, but it's not a small mouse. Not giant either, just not ideal for claw grip. Better if your palm likes to slouch. Aesthetically, it's understated but not plain, with a literal flare in its shape. While it's not my preferred grip, it is very comfortable to hold. Well, provided you're right-handed, this is very definitely not an ambidextrous mouse. It's clickety-clacks click up nicely, and its overall build feels reasonably put together, but nothing more. My similarly priced Steel Series rival feels more solid to me, and it is quite a bit lighter. To very briefly cover the technical mousey bits, it lacks a DPI button, which would allow you to change the sensitivity of the mouse without using the software. Luckily, that is very simple to get and use, and also allows you to fiddle with the light in the scroll wheel and logo. You can change its brightness, make it do this slow breathing effect, or we'll just turn it off. Its sensor appears to track consistently and accurately, which is no surprise in a Razer gaming mouse. They pioneered the genre. Look it up, it's an interesting bit of tech history. I feel I got what I paid for, but there are several mice from competitors that offer just a little bit more for the same price. Solid. A little uninspired. Razer. Six stars. The mouse pad, in short, is not great, but it's half my fault. I realised that with the mouse and the keyboard I'm about to show you, I used the designator gaming in the search term, but here just mouse mat, and bought the Amazon choice. So if it ain't great for gaming, I'll cut it some slack. And it isn't. Because while disturbingly plush, this is just a little on the small side for playing games, so I end up performing dramatic 350 no hits. Print is mediocre, and surface is a little rough. I wanted a mouse mat, not an exfoliating pad. It does have some pros though, which include the mouse tracking flawlessly on it, and it really feels quite substantial for its size. It's quite thick. Plush. Small. 7 star mouse pad, 1 star gaming mouse pad. Finally the keyboard, the colourful centrepiece. Well, if the Razer unboxing could be described as modest, this is positively basic. Quite at odds with their vibrant Amazon listing. You can game with it, what a relief. Tindo's when compatible, and should work on Mac App too. Let's see inside. Everything about it inspires a lack of confidence in the product. I don't quite know what it is about the large RE in Arial font that they've emblazoned above the arrow keys that shouts I'm cheap so loudly, but it's effective. And I spent a while wondering why it appears they spray painted it, as you can see white under all the keys. I mean, it just looks awful. Then I plugged it in and that solved the mystery. It's white to allow the lights through, which is, for some strange reason, not the way they illuminate more expensive keyboards. Colours are very pretty, but not evenly bright, and as it doesn't get too bright overall, that makes some of them difficult to see. These are not RGB that change colour, this is just a static multicoloured backlight. They've kinda taken a little bit of a liberty with truth on the box. Press this button to change colour. You've got the choice of off or on. Well, off is a different colour technically. I did discover the breathing effect, strangely not detailed on the box or manual. Don't worry, the number and caps lock indicator lights are determined to make up for the keyboard's dimness. It hurts to look directly down on them. So what's it like to use? Their description of the item on Amazon starts with professional, mechanical feeling, not the real mechanical keyboard, but it's worth more. 
I don't think anyone could mistake this for a professional tool, and the mechanical feeling claim is iffy too. It does have a longer key travel than most membrane keyboards. You have to depress the keys further. Your parents will Your parents never be proud of you. Ever. But otherwise, it's not close. Awfully, awfully mushy keys, though this does have the advantage of making it a very quiet keyboard. I don't know if it's because of this mushiness or if I'm just drunk, but I keep hitting the wrong letters. Yes, and even snore than normal. Durability is a big question mark with this. It claims to have a key life of 5 million presses, or clicks. You do have to worry if that is divided between all 105 keys, which would be approximately 47,619.05 key presses each. Yes, I'm bored. Thanks for asking. Also, it's very flexible. When you twist, it bends. Like a penguin, it does have little flappy feet, but I really don't like how loose this cable protector thing is. In the end, I think the real star quality of this keyboard is its Amazon listing, but unless you're really desperate for a cheap keyboard that looks the part, I'd steer well clear of this one. Hell, I've had significantly cheaper membrane keyboards that feel better. This Logitech K120 isn't exactly premium, but it blows this out the water for less. And it's the Amazon choice for keyboard. 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 Mushy. Very, very mushy. Colourful lights, 10 stars.